My job is to look things up and research and do all the things and make all the decisions. And I'm not saying I'm 100% right all the time, but I've been looking at saunas for, I don't know, 15 years or something like that. And I've had more than one. If you want to trust somebody like me to just kind of do the research and tell you what I think is best, I'm not going to totally, I'm not going to explain it in this video. I'll do another one. Between a dry sauna that I have access to here in America or an infrared sauna, I think absolutely infrared saunas are superior. Now, if I'm, over in, if I'm traveling over there and I come across some of this stuff and it's, it's built safe and there aren't these horrific artificial electrical panels and very dangerous non-native EMF, but basically some of the new things that we're building, you're sitting in a box of radio frequencies and microwaves and radiation electricity that's totally jamming up your cellular function at a quantum level, and I don't recommend sitting in those. Hi, it's Dr. Imka, your brain optimization experts coming to you from Brain and Body Solutions and brainandbodyrevolution.org. Okay, did you read the title? I wanna know, do you actually know how you can reduce your risk of Alzheimer's disease by 60% without ever getting dressed? Huh? Now here's the thing. I'm a woman and I'm blessed with the breasts, but if I was a man, I would be sitting here topless and naked and that would make this such a better video. But since I'm not really going for that type of attraction marketing on my videos for you guys, I'm on, I do have a shirt on, I'm not topless, so I'm not totally naked, but you can reduce your risk of Alzheimer's disease Alzheimer's disease by 60% without ever getting dressed. And did you know that? And do you know how? And then I wanna actually ask, why the hell don't you? Why isn't anybody telling you what the studies are showing? Okay, but I think that's what I'm here to do. So let's talk about it. I'm worried about people's brains and protecting their brains and things like dementia and Alzheimer's that are coming in and ripping people apart from lifestyle things. It's not about you're gonna get that because you get old. You can be stopping this with the laziest thing on earth. It also does other stuff. Let me tell you what it does, okay? And I'm doing it this way for a reason. Okay. You can decrease heart attack risk by up to 63%. Heart attack is the number one killer in America right now. And you could be preventing it by 63% by staying naked and just sitting lying around. Did anybody tell you that? Because here's the thing, I'm gonna give you a couple more numbers and then I'm gonna tell you what my mission is with, with what I'm doing with the revolution.org. Um, stroke, decreased by 60%. Hypertension, decreased by 50%. Increases heart rate variability, which is a really great number that I use biofeedback and people pay a lot of money to know how to do this in my practice. And it, that's a, your heart's ability to manage stress. It's a stress-related heart response to autonomic nervous system input. Um, so there's just some basic numbers from, from a small amount of studies that have been done on a very large number of people that heat stress from frequent sauna baths will give you. So you, again, it said if I was a man, I'd be straight up naked, but again, I don't wanna go to jail, so we're not gonna do that today. But those are some numbers. I wanted to write them down because I thought they were really profound. We're looking at 60 and 63% some of these, these pathologies. So most of the studies are done on a regular dry sauna that we would call a finished sauna, just so you know. And it's kind of the way people have been doing things a long time. But basically, sitting on your butt, sweating four to seven times a week for 20 minutes. Frequency matters. If you do it only two to three, you're, the risk is much lower for all those numbers. So I gave you the top is if you're doing four to seven times a week and the duration of hitting 19 minutes was, was a magical thing. Just 20 minutes. Doesn't mean you gotta stay in there for an hour, you guys. Frequency and duration mattered. Four to seven times a week, 20 minutes. Sitting in a hot box. I know a lot of you got a lot of hot boxes you wanna use and you aren't, so you might as well buy a hot box and just get the results you want, okay? Protect your brain, protect your heart and all the things. Now. Why don't you know this? I don't know. It really makes me mad you don't know this kind of thing. I am hoping 
sauna use is going to be a first line of treatment in cardiovascular disease. I hope it'll become a first line of treatment in neurodegenerative diseases. And we can start getting people to do these things when they're young and it becomes a regular lifestyle behavioral thing and every house has a sauna or communities get together in their clubhouse and do saunas together the way we used to do over in Finland and Sweden and all the fancy little things and where it was really cold and they found stones and, and did sauna things, okay? A lot of old white people a long time ago figured this out, all right? They weren't doing these in Africa much. Okay, so what I'm trying to do, and I think my whole mission is to try to make things easier you know I, I grew up with thinking like things were hard because it was hard sometimes and I think we're conditioned to be like being thin is hard having money is hard being healthy is hard not getting a heart attack is hard not getting cancer now is hard not getting autism or Alzheimer's seems really hard how are we supposed to avoid it because the numbers are outrageous where one in two women and one in three men are gonna have cancer that's not how it used to be a hundred years ago what is going on Let's not get into all of that, but let me just try to say, I'm trying to dissect to make things easy for you. My mother is not going out for a light jog, you guys, and I don't want her to. She's not in that condition at this point. Her, she hasn't been running that long. Her joints couldn't handle it. Her bo bones couldn't handle it. I don't need her doing something at that point, but you know what she can do? She can sit in a sauna for 20 minutes and we would work her up slowly because she's in the older population under care to watch how things are going. But by sitting in a sauna for 25 minutes, studies have shown, it's equivalent to sitting on a, to riding at a nice moderate pace on a stationary bike. So you are exercising. I could have titled this, how to get a 25 minute jog in without ever getting off your ass. I could have called it that because that is what I do. And I think things should be easier. I want, I'm trying to make my life easier, to make your life easier, to make your results easier, right? Because I only think a few things should be hard. My diamonds should be hard. My teeth should be hard. My muscles should be hard. My abs should be hard. My bones should be hard. My bones should be hard right there. And you know, for all you fellas, some things should be hard on you too, okay? That's okay supposed to be all right so I want you to make things easier I think you should start doing saunas on the regular Americans don't seem to understand this now there's let me say this there's two big types and I don't want to unpack it totally so we have these dry saunas that were kind of these old ancient ways and if you go to Europe you can find really really amazing ones and so it's the air is really hot like 170 degrees and you have these stones you put some water and a little bit of steam goes in the air and then it gets like really thick and hot and you feel like whoo I don't know if I can breathe in this because the air is so hot right and people are like I gotta get out of here I can't take it if they're not conditioned now the the, the, the Finnish and the Swedish and the, they have been doing this and they put their kids in kindergarten are doing this so that's a very different they take snow baths as well they're up leveled on some of their thermal stress so they they use cold and heat stress all the time this is a form of heat stress that the body has an amazing cardiovascular response to it's super anti-aging it improves the cardiovascular health so you're fighting off cardiovascular disease you're fighting off brain degeneration you're having an artificial exercise activity when i go inside my sauna it's like i'm i'm working out but not okay i don't have to jump around shake around my joints are fine my, i don't have to put on three bras because as a woman it's about two every time to contain it i don't have to do that i'm just naked and sweating Huh? I get the exercise benefits, I get the cardiovascular workout, I get the brain detox and dump. It's amazing. So I'm not even getting to all the benefits, but that's, that's all was there. Now, so you have those dry kind of saunas, you put the coals on, and then you have infrared saunas. So the dry saunas, the ambient air is getting hot. You're like, I can't breathe. I can't breathe, it's so hot. Okay, the air is hot, and then that makes you hot. In infrared, whether it's far, uh, middle, far, middle, full spectrum, far, middle, and near infrared, near infrared, whatever, we're gonna talk about all those three different kind of types in the infrared category. Um, that is not, the ambient air is not hot. The, the, the sauna box doesn't really get that hot because it's, it, it's waves, photon of light waves are absorbed into inside and they're like 
burning the heat out. They're internally increasing the temperature of your tissue, okay? So let me say this. My job is to look things up and research and do all the things and make all the decisions. And I'm not saying I'm 100% right all the time, but I've been looking at saunas for, I don't know, 15 years or something like that. And I've had more than one. Um, if you want to trust somebody like me to just kind of do the research to tell you what I think is best, I'm not going to totally, I'm not going to explain it in this video. I'll do another one. But between a dry sauna that I have access to here in America or an infrared sauna, I think absolutely infrared saunas are superior. Now, if I'm over in, if I'm traveling over there and I come across some of this stuff and it's, it's a built safe and there aren't these horrific artificial electrical panels and very dangerous non-native EMF, uh, but basically some of the new things that we're building, you're sitting in a box of radio frequencies of microwaves and radiation electricity, like totally jamming up your cellular function at a quantum level. And I don't recommend sitting in those, okay, at all. I don't think the heat shock benefit is worth that. You can get it another way. So if I was over there, I'd use it. But here in America, what you can get a hold of, what you can buy and all the things, if I have a choice of a dry sauna or an infrared sauna, I'm going infrared. Then if I have a choice of a far infrared, what they're calling full spectrum in the far, this, this wooden box type sauna or a near infrared light source sauna like you see right here, I go near infrared as you can see because I'm sitting right behind it, all right? I think this is the superior sauna choice for a number of reasons. And I'll do some more information on far infrared versus near infrared if you'd like on another day. But if you just want to like get on the, you know, jump on the horse and just start to take some action and get these results to get a 63% reduction in heart attack risk for yourself, get a 60% reduction in Alzheimer's for yourself, get a 60% reduction in, in stroke risk for yourself, get a 50% reduction in hypertension for yourself, get a damn sauna in your house, okay? And I think I have found the best and most economical sauna on the market. I think it's the safest, I think it's most effective, and I think it's the, a one of a kind, okay? So if you send me a message or drop down a comment, that's totally okay. Give us time to get to you and all my assistance to be given you, but I will send you, we will send to you what I have researched over the years, my number one choice in purchasing a sauna, as well as the sauna I used to own and left behind and why. All right, I hope that's helpful. I hope it starts you on a path towards research and uh, getting what you need to know. Please reach out to me, I can get this to you. You have to take control of your health and your results to make your life easier. And if you're waiting for conventional medicine to do it, you'll be waiting a very long and hard and painful way to get it done. All right, so send me a message and the links are coming to you.